discipline. Discipline enables a person to do that which needs to be done, which is also my definition of a professional, no matter how he feels within. The person you just heard talking was Cus D'Amato. He was the coach of Mike Tyson back in the days. He formed him and gave him this mindset. Discipline is the difference between a professional and an amateur. Yeah. I don't care how good you are in anything, you don't have discipline, you ain't nobody. Right. That has to be something that you also learn from Cus as well. I, I, don't, I don't know what discipline is. I don't know what discipline is. He taught me discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. It is no question that discipline is the key to success. The question is, how long can you stay disciplined? Imagine doing the thing you do, your whole life but without success. When you are able to think that way and you are still doing your thing, then you master discipline. Don't get me wrong, you should do something where other people were already been successful at, but keep that in your mind. You want to know where discipline comes from? It comes from telling yourself the truth about where you are about what is going on in your life. You can lie to yourself and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself everything's okay and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself, you can lie to yourself and say that you're winning and then you don't need discipline. But if you tell yourself the truth, if you tell yourself the truth that you know you could be better, you know you could do more, if you tell yourself the truth, you won't have to find discipline. Discipline will find you. So tell yourself the truth and get up. People see legends like Tyson, Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson, and so on, thinking they were particularly gifted or talented. But the truth is, they worked harder than everybody else. What them made so popular is their character. Every one of them walked his own path to the top. They experienced different things and got who they are now. Legends. There's no talent here. This is hard work. This is an obsession. Talent does not exist. We are all equals as human beings. You could be anyone if you put in the time. You will reach the top, and that's that. So, I am not talented, I am obsessed. The only difference between us and these legends is that we are on this path right now. It is in our hands in which direction we go. We have the same two options they had. Either we decide to win or to lose. It's not impossible, but you need the right mindset. And the most important thing, discipline. I did a and it said that the reason why a person becomes a legend is because in their field, they get to such, they get to Jupiter in their field. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. So you can't be average and be a legend. That's why I need you to work on legendary stuff. You can't be good and be a legend. You can't be a good person and be a legend. You can't be great, really, and be a legend. You gotta be phenomenal. I want you to push for legend. You have to get up and build your own legacy, no matter if you feel like it or not. You can't just sit around and hoping for results. If you do nothing, you can't have any results. No results, no progress. No progress, and another wasted day nobody will give you back. If you want to win, you have to be disciplined. So go out there and build your legacy. Write history. Really? I was gonna rip it hard, and I'm the best ever. You know, I was absolutely yeah. curious. Yeah. The most of champion in the ever been. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to go beyond your limits. That's the only way to improve constantly. You have to push forward. Do what you are supposed to do. Don't chase your dream. Live your dream. Let the bad feelings aside. You will improve on your way to success, on the way to your ultimate goal. Depression is when you and God are not in alignment, it'll drive anybody crazy. When you're not doing what you was called to do, when you're not doing what you were purposed to do, when you're not walking in your it, when you're not walking in your genesee qua. Anybody gonna go crazy when you working somewhere you ain't supposed to be working? When you somewhere 40 hours you ain't supposed to be? When you're not accomplishing what you're supposed to accomplish, so where the devil has gotten most of you is just you believe God, but you don't believe in God. If you want it bad enough, you find a way. If you don't want it bad enough, you find an excuse. The person that finishes the race with their hand held isn't it about the, uh, you know, how big they are, how tough they are, their potential. It's a perseverance. Meaning it's not about the dog that's in the fight. It's the fight within the dog.